Raised by animals and trained to track his prey silently, George of the Jungle loves the thrill of the hunt. Huh? <laughs> George! What did you save me from this time? Found another coconut that looks like George! I collect them. George, there's no room in here for any more junk. What are you talking about? Just my pinecone collection, my sleeping squirrel collection, my things that fell on George's head collection. But there's no room left in the treehouse for us to live in. Hmm. Okay, give George one out. There, no more clutter. Okay, give George one week. What do you think? Wow, a new treehouse. Ape and George get own rooms. It's really nice, George. Are you sure the tree won't break? <gasps> it can't break. It's a rubber tree. <laughs> Just look at that view. <laughs> and this is the den. <gasps> wow, a lost temple of Gold. How do you lose something this big? I could learn so much about an ancient culture. I could dress like an ancient queen. I, I could have, have my, my own room. room. Dips. Hey, Max. What's the big idea? Sorry, I didn't see you there. Call me Big Mitch. Everyone does. Who calls you Big Mitch? They do, everybody! I'm very popular. This is your temple? Oh, lucky! Ah, you like my temple, do you? You bet! It's so big and roomy and wide open. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's a great place for parties. And it's got these handy utensil dispensers. What George wouldn't give to live in a place like this. Hmm. What exactly would you give? Oops. Ah! Oh, I am gonna look good in this. Whoops. Uh oh. <laughs> This place is booby-trapped. We've got to get out of here. Okay, we'll trade. George will give you four mangoes, uh, this string, ooh, and my treehouse for your temple. You'll give me a treehouse? Mm, I don't know. This temple has been in my family for generations. <laughs> okay, okay, two pieces of string. Okay, deal. But remember, no take-backs. No take-backs. So long, sucker! <laughs> so long! We've got to leave, now. This temple is full of booby traps. And jewelry! And dangerous booby traps. And now we get to live here! George traded our old treehouse for this awesome temple. Surprise! <laughs> <gasps> Ooh, awkward. Okay, we're gonna let you two sort this out from the safety of our own homes. Ape, you mad? Would you excuse me for a minute? I'm gonna go pick out a room. Sure thingy, just as long as you're not mad. <laughs> I called dibs on that room.
mad, right? Because George traded our house? Yeah, George can tell. Pass the salt, please. Okay, George wants Treehouse back. No can do, guy. Remember? No take backs! <laughs> <laughs> okay, boys. No take backs? Do you know what this means? Uh. It means we can never go home again. What have you done, George? Me? Uh, well, this is all Abe's fault. How is it my fault? Somehow! It's a good thing this is a big temple, because I don't want to talk to you right now. We'll talk later then! Eight? George. I'm sorry. You should be. Sorry, George listened to you in the first place. This is all your fault. My fault. It is all your fault. It is not my fault. I don't it's really possibly know what you're Hey, hey, hey. What is wrong with you? You used to be best friends. It doesn't matter where you live as long as you're together. Buddy. Pal. Good. Now get your treehouse back so I can get some sleep. But you just said... No! <laughs> Big Mitch said no trade backs. Maybe he'll trade for something else. Quick, what have we got besides that stupid temple of gold? I got this paper clip. And I've got some lint. Let's go. Big Mitch will never trade the treehouse for this. Then we'll just have to trade this for something he will want. And I'll give you all of this in exchange for Egypt. Hmm. Yeah. <gasps> There's no way Mitch won't give us our house back in exchange for all of Egypt. Right, George? George? George, wait! George, did you just trade the nation of Egypt for a glass of lemonade? Uh, sort of. You're not giving up yet, are you? I was hoping to, yes. We did it once. We can do it again. I've got some more lint. What have you got in your pockets? I have this other shrunken head. Shrunken head for trade! Shrunken head! Uh, who needs one? Shrunken head for trade! Ah! Ah! Uh, Mr. Snuffles? Mr. Snuffles! Mr. Mr. Snuffles? Snuffles? My beloved childhood friend. Thrown out by my own mother. Hey! What's the big idea? Mr. Snuffles was your beloved childhood friend. Now, he's George's beloved childhood friend. I'll give you anything from Mr. Snuffles. Anything! Anything? Got any lemonade? George! Mr. Snuffles, I never thought I'd see you again. I'm so glad you're safe. You got back your home and all of George's collections. Now that's a good trade. Nope. George traded his collections to Big Mitch for this. Panic in the 
jump. Ah! That's horrific! What horrible evil could cause such chaos? <laughs> George and Abe, just days before their annual bath. Do I smell the rotten stink of Abe? Ooh, is that the aroma of my unwashed pal, George? <laughs> Mom, can I go outside? I said no. Now go play in some manure until it's safe up there. Ugh. Something terrible has turned rotten. Don't worry. Whatever it is, we throw it out, bury the fridge, burn the kitchen, and boof. Oh, Magnolia, what is that smell? Oh, just George and Abe. Didn't you know they only take a bath once a year? Ew! Yeah, things get pretty bad in the last week. Even their rubber bath ducky goes into hiding. Yes, sir. I'm a regular duck. Quack, 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 quack. They take an annual bath? Ew, that is so childish, so foolish, so boyish. <laughs> Hi, everyone! George, you and Ape need to take a bath. Ah, typical human attitude. Being dirty keeps the bugs from biting. They can't stand the taste. Ursula should try it. You're not going to take a bath? Nope. <laughs> well, fine. We'll just glue these flowers to our face and smell that. Oh, I could make a flower perfume you can spray on yourself till bath day. I was thinking they could gargle with it. No way! George doesn't want to smell like a girl. <gasps> yeah, e pluribus smell them. United we stink. Girls are so dramatic. Ape said it. Uh, we flew south from this. I thought bath day would never get here. What are you wearing? I tore all the perfume sample strips out of my magazine, and I made this super cute skirt. Huh? What are you wearing? Something my dad invented. If the smell gets too bad, you just pull this. So refreshing! Ape in the air! Woo -hoo! Yay! Woo -hoo! Come on in, George! Whoa! Ho oh ho! That's what I smelled like! I thought you were gonna go for the record. Huh? There's a record for not taking a bath? Sure. Reginald Stinker McGaw once went two years. Smelled all his feathers off. Hmm. The king of the jungle should hold all the records. One more year! One more year! You One better more not year. be thinking what One I think you're thinking. Year. One more year! One more year! One more year! One more year! I took those flowers and made a huge jug of perfume. It's really strong, so only use a few drops. Don't you think you might be overreacting a little? Uh, hello, friends! <laughs> Give me that. Look, George, even Ape can't stand your stench. But George's stench is getting stronger. Watch. Open smell me You have to listen to us, George. The grass has stopped growing under your tree house. It refuses to leave the dirt. You don't get visitors or mail. Or breathable air. Oh. Okay, guys, I'm going in. Be brave. <sighs> Just a couple of drops on you should do it. <laughs> Girly smell no match for all powerful George smell. <sighs> Want to play fetch? <laughs> hey, girls! Get away! Don't go any closer! Oh. George 
miss his friends. Oh, maybe record isn't worth it. George will take bath first thing in the morning. He'll hold the record. <laughs> George, I thought you were taking a bath. Help! I'm being smelled out. <gasps> George needs help. I'm afraid his collective odors have finally taken over. Wait! The smell, it's alive. Smells out the light. There's simply molecules impinging on the human olfactory apparatus that... Help! It's alive! Help! Arrest that aroma! George! Our mistress met... We only want to talk! I'm right here! Over there! Which way did he go? <laughs> that smell is too smart. This calls for some serious science. This device creates a solid containment sphere. I may be able to neutralize this smell if you can just trick it onto this platform. How? Do not worry. I have that covered. Worst smell in the world! If you seek the reef, come take a peek! Say fantastic! Free rotting cheese inside! Come and get it! Wait! <laughs> now! <laughs> we got him! What? What happened? Wait! Where's the smell? Ugh! Possible. It evolved. It can live on its own. <laughs> How's your scientific method working out? Oh, can it? Hey! What about me? No! No! See? If he can do it, you can do it. You lazy slob. Smell is heading for the river, and it doesn't know the shortcut. Follow George. If he touches that water, it'll be a romagator. And that's bad, right? Very. Imagine all the water in the jungle tasting like a dirty George. <gasps> We're, We're doomed. <laughs> Not necessarily. I've increased the sweetness and purity by a power of Boogity 11. There is no such number as Boogity 11, you board shaking troglodyte! Perfume! Attack! has an idea! George! <laughs> Smell, smells! Don't fight! You have so much in common! <laughs> like, uh, well, you both stink! <laughs> Girly smell! Look how strong bad smell is! <laughs> She's kind of cute, right? In a disgusting, nose hair burning way. <laughs> what have I doing? I, I think I smell love in the air. <laughs> the smells are going away. George solved whole problem. 
But you created the problem. Ah, but I solved the problem. Huh? What's George's big reward? Huh? 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 No! Oh, 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 jungle is vast, our hero George hears every cry for help, eventually. Help! Help! Warthog is in trouble. George must go on many zigzags to get there. Should have gone to bathroom first. Hmm. Dear Magnolia, I am borrowing your bike. P.S. I am George. P.P.S. Uh, up jungle. Maybe there's something happy on the last page. It's sad because it's just a story. I will never have that kind of friendship with a pony. I will never have a pony. <laughs> I used to ride around on my bike and pretend it was lightning. George will get Magnolia a pony to make up for the bike. <gasps> oh, my stars, really? Oh, thank you, George. Okay, quick question. What's a pony? Okay, look for an animal that has four legs and a tail and a mane and... Ooh, and wings? And a curly horn and smells like cotton candy? Uh, no, George. Sorry, fella. Not today. How's that? That's my lightning! A zebra? <laughs> and they won a trophy of gold. Wouldn't it be great in a horse show just like in the book? Elizabeth and lightning did it! You're not doing it right! In the book, Elsebeth's friends don't believe in her dreams and she has to run away! Oh. No, oh, you'd terrible. never terrible. succeed. No, George thinks you'd no. fail. You never support my dreams! Lightning and I will show you all! So you coming or what? And so, Magnolia and Lightning travel far. 
very far. Extremely far. Uh, farther than any far away point on the farthest map. Our ponies have the same name and everything. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> First up in the Kentering event, Elizabeth and Lightning. Supposed to be. I was supposed to be locking the boar. Magnolia, please report to center stage for your prize. Huh? Say what? I want something? We hereby present you with the actually interesting prize. Every year we sit politely through these boring shows. But this year, you gave us some real showmanship. <laughs> Maggie, this is just like in your book. I read the last page. Oh, do you 
put a mood on. George doesn't get it. It's just like the end of my book. After Elsie Beth's horse flakes, she finds a magically perfect poodle. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, don't take it too hard. Last week she dumped me for a kitty. Come on, I will buy you some oats. Ooh, we're gonna run away and win the dog show. I'll be back. Frolic, frolic, merrily, merrily. Little does this meerkat suspect, as he frolics merrily through the jungle, that he's being pursued by a ferocious tiger, wily master of camouflage. Frolic, 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 merrily, frolic, frolic. Mm. Oh, hello, zebra. Wait a minute. <laughs> I give bad kitty. Bad, bad, bad. There is a door, you know. Yeah, George had a good day at work. Just saved a meerkat from a tiger. Good lunch, too. Really enjoyed tube of candy. Tube of what? Did I leave my new marshmallow lip balm here last night? George, that's great how you saved the meerkat, but don't you think these smaller animals depend on you a little too much? Oh, give George one example. <laughs> what? Saves him two hours of gnawing. George, meet me at Howie's. Signed, a hungry predator. Come alone. I know your whole save the tiny animals thing is your thing, but us big guys are tired of getting pounded just for doing our thing. Maybe big guys should be nicer to small guys. Talk to them. Bunnies can be more than lunch, you know. Hey, we gotta eat. Hmm, okay. George is thinking. Another smoothie, Howie. This is gonna take a while. We are here to teach you to stand up for yourselves using self defense techniques. <laughs> George will be mad that we're doing this? Oh, of course not. Think how much work we're saving him by teaching these guys to take care of themselves. Let's get things started. We need a volunteer. You, chameleon. Uh. It's time to take back the jungle. The days of relying on George are over. Hi! Yeah. <laughs> Think about it. No more George using you as a punch balloon. No more cringing when you hear a swinging vine. All we gotta do is lay off the little guys and eat these instead. <laughs> what is that? Fruits and vegetables. They're high in vitamins. And the best part, they don't run away from you. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, and no more getting beaten up by George. <sighs> you know what the greatest feeling in the world is? Finding a three-for-one bathing suit sale no one knows about and getting all the best stuff before your friends get there? I was gonna say helping the small and defenseless. Oh. I'm just worried that George will be mad that we didn't think he could fix the problem himself. All we did was give a few critters some self-esteem lessons. That's just helping a little. Yeah, right. He probably won't even notice. Okay. But if there was a three-for-one sale, you would tell me, right? Huh? Huh? Take that! Yeah! <laughs> 
I always my fuzzy foot. Want me to kiss it and make it better? Uh, time to put those glasses to work. Hey, it worked. He didn't eat us. <laughs> Come back. We just want to offer you some homemade yam fries. <laughs> I'd better get George. Oh, I sing of hogs and power. With praise they should be showered. Not dipped in egg and flour. And hungrily devoured. What just happened? The scary spider of Spider Cave is spinning silk scarves. The vampire bats are drinking herbal tea. All the animals who are supposed to be scary are acting wimpy. Yep, George came up with a pretty smart idea, huh? You did this? No, 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 no. You wouldn't upset the natural order of the wild, would you? Oh, natural order wasn't so great. Way too much growling and screaming. But that's the way it's supposed to be. You know, Ape is upset for nothing. It's not like all animals are acting different. <gasps> Your vegetable garden! Want some asparagus, brothers and sisters? Get him! This nut spread really makes smoothies better. Have you all seen my almond style in jail? <laughs> That's weird. I could swear that leopard just ordered a vegetable smoothie. Sure. That's part of George's smart idea. George got all predators to eat vegetables and fruit. <laughs> oh, right, George. Can you imagine? What? George is serious. Now they won't chase defenseless small animals. <laughs> it's the Hairs Angels! Run! Fuck your hogs, boys. <laughs> what are you looking at? Mm -hmm. Hey, Chuckles, you're sitting in my seat. <laughs> Sorry, let me dust it off for you. <laughs> Give it back. <laughs> uh, what's going on? Uh, yeah. We just sort of uh, <laughs> taught the small animals a few self-defense techniques so the big guys would leave them alone. Heredia! Dance, Furball! You trained the animals to do this? Whoops. Uh oh. The jungle has rules, and you turn the jungle into. into a crazy jungle! Oh, look who's talking. You made all the predators into a load of tea sipping sissies. Crazy jungle. Hmm. George's gonna have to put on thinking lips for this one. <laughs> uh, George wanted to get an opinion on what to plant in new vegetable garden. So, what should it be? Fish's prey? Wimpy predators? Any ideas? How about eggplants? Eggplants? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Okay, then we'll go with predators meeting over. Whoa, 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 hang on. Why are we gonna go with what they say? Because they're bigger? No, we say carrots. <gasps> hey, predators, are you gonna let them boss you around? No. We are the main vegetable eaters around here now, so we suggest eggplants. Well, maybe we don't want you eating any more of our vegetables. Your vegetables? 
Yote! Yote! Here you go, little fella. Your vegetables? Why don't you just find something else to eat, huh? Uh, maybe I will. Oops! <laughs> um, put up your dukes. <laughs> <laughs> Huh. Natural order makes me happy. Where are you going? Georgia, to save little guy. Ah, <laughs> kitty. This just don't no please in that guy. 